Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, I want to emphasize that monitoring someone's Chromebook without their consent is illegal and unethical. It should be 100% clear that it's totally illegal to install any software on another adult's device without their knowledge and consent. This video is for educational purposes only, and you should always use such software as responsibly and within the bounds of the law, such as for parental control or monitoring company devices with consent. So with that out of the way, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up parental controls on a Chromebook. As a father of four, I need to make sure that they're always safe using their devices. That's why I've chosen Bark, which I believe offers the perfect balance of protection and trust, helping me monitor their activities without overstepping. And if at any point you decide to try Bark, you can use the affiliate link down in the description. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to their website. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, to begin setting up parental controls on your Chromebook, you first need to make sure that your child has a Google account set up through Family Link. This is Google's system for managing children's accounts and allows you to set up basic controls like managing apps, keeping an eye on screen time, and regulating the content that they can get access to. Okay, so once you've got Family Link configured, the next step is to enhance these controls with Bark. Now, to install Bark on a Chromebook, you can click the link in the description below to go directly to Bark's website. There, you'll find the Bark Chromebooks app. Download and install it following the instructions provided on the site. So. Bark actually complements Google's built-in controls by offering deeper monitoring capabilities, including checking text messages, emails, and even social media interactions depending on the permissions that you set. After installing Bark, you'll integrate it by logging into your Bark account and linking your kid's Google account into it. Then Bark will start monitoring the activities you selected and alert you about anything from potential cyberbullying to inappropriate content helping you address these issues as quickly as possible. So now you know how to set up parental controls on a Chromebook and enhance them with Bark. And remember to always use these tools responsibly and within the bounds of the law, and possibly take some time to explain to your children why these measures are necessary because they're only for their own good. Okay, so that's all for this tutorial. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. And if you wanna try Bark, remember you can use the affiliate link that's down in the description below. It doesn't cost you anything and you'll get a bit of a discount, which you wouldn't get if you went directly to their website. Anyways, as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts. So please leave any questions or comments down below. And I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. And finally, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.